I'm excited to share this message with you today. In this fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the daily grind and lose sight of our goals and dreams. We all have aspirations and desires, but sometimes we struggle to find the motivation and drive to achieve them. But fear not, because in today's message, I am going to share with you five ways to challenge yourself and achieve your goals easily. You see, my friends, you are not alone in this struggle. We all face challenges and obstacles in our lives that can make it difficult to stay on track and reach our goals. But the good news is, by listening to this message, you can turn things around and start making progress towards your dreams. I have spent decades studying and teaching the principles of success. And I have seen firsthand how these five strategies can transform lives and help people achieve their goals with ease. So get ready to take some notes and get ready to challenge yourself in new and exciting ways. Remember, my friends, you have the power to create the life you desire. And by implementing these five strategies, you can make it happen. So let's dive in and discover how you can challenge yourself and achieve your goals easily, Oles. Starting with number five. Now we all know that procrastination is the enemy of progress. It is the thief of time and the killer of dreams. We have all been guilty of procrastination at some point in our lives. We have all put off important tasks and projects only to regret it later when we are faced with the consequences. But why do we procrastinate? Is it because we are lazy or lack motivation? No, my friends, procrastination is often a result of fear and self-doubt. We fear failure, we fear rejection, and we doubt our abilities to succeed. And so we delay taking action, we make excuses, and we convince ourselves that we will do it later. But let me tell you this, later never comes. Procrastination is a vicious cycle that keeps us stuck in the same place while time passes us by. And before we know it, another year has gone by and we are no closer to our goals than we were before. So what is the solution? How can we break free from the grip of procrastination and move towards our goals? The answer, my friends, is to find a support system. Yes, you heard me right. A support system is the key to overcoming procrastination and achieving success. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is a support system? Well, it is a group of people who believe in you, who motivate you, and who hold you accountable for your actions. Having a support system is crucial because it provides us with the encouragement and motivation we need to take action. When we have people who believe in us and our abilities, it gives us the confidence to push through our fears and doubts and take the necessary steps towards our goals. But who should be a part of your support system? It could be your family, your friends, your mentors, or even a coach. The important thing is that these are people who genuinely care about your success and are willing to support you in your journey. Now let me share with you three ways in which a support system can help you overcome procrastination and reach your goals. Firstly, a support system provides accountability. When we have someone to answer to, we are more likely to stay on track and follow through on our commitments. Your support system can hold you accountable for your actions and keep you focused on your goals. They can also provide you with constructive feedback and help you stay on the right path. Secondly, a support system offers motivation and encouragement. We all have days when we feel demotivated and want to give up. But when we have people who believe in us and our goals, they can give us the push we need to keep going. They can remind us of our why and help us stay committed to our goals. Lastly, a support system provides a sense of community. When we surround ourselves with like-minded individuals who are also striving towards their goals, it creates a sense of camaraderie. We can learn from each other, share our struggles and successes, and find inspiration in each other's journeys. Now you may be thinking, that all sounds great, Jim, but how do I find a support system? Well, my friends, it starts with being intentional. You need to actively seek out people who can be a part of your support system. It could be by joining a mastermind group, attending networking events, or even reaching out to people you admire and asking for their guidance. 
Remember, your support system does not have to be large. Quality is more important than quantity. It is better to have a few genuine and supportive individuals than a large group of people who do not truly care about your success. And let me tell you this, my friends. Once you have found your support system, do not be afraid to lean on them when you need it. We all need help and support at times, and there is no shame in asking for it. Now to the fourth way to overcome procrastination and reach your goals, and that is to create a plan and stick to it. You see, we all have dreams and aspirations, but very few of us actually take the time to sit down and create a plan to achieve them. We get caught up in the daily grind, the routine of life, and we forget that our dreams require action. They require a plan. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have time to create a plan. I'm too busy with work, with family, with other responsibilities. And to that I say, nonsense. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and it's up to us how we use them. The difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is how they utilize their time. So let me ask you this. How much time do you spend scrolling through social media, binge watching TV shows, or just mindlessly surfing the internet? And how much time do you spend on planning and working towards your goals? If your answer is not in favor of the latter, then it's time to make a change. Creating a plan is not just about setting goals and deadlines. It's about breaking down those big, intimidating goals into smaller, manageable tasks. It's about creating a roadmap that will guide you towards your dreams. And most importantly, it's about taking action. You see, a plan is useless without action. It's like having a map but not taking the journey. You may know where you want to go, but unless you take that first step, you will never reach your destination. Now, I know that creating a plan can be overwhelming. You may not know where to start or how to go about it. But let me share with you a simple yet effective method that I have used throughout my life, the five P's. The first P stands for purpose. You need to have a clear purpose for your goals. Why do you want to achieve them? What will it mean for you and your life? When you have a strong purpose, it will give you the motivation and drive to create a plan and stick to it. The second P is prioritize. You need to prioritize your goals and tasks not everything needs to be done at once. Identify what is most important and focus on that first. This will help you avoid feeling overwhelmed and allow you to make progress towards your goals. The third P is plan. This is where you break down your goals into smaller, actionable tasks. Write down what you need to do, when you need to do it, and how you will do it. This will give you a clear roadmap to follow and keep you on track. The fourth P is persistence. Creating a plan is not a one-time thing. You need to constantly review and adjust it as you go along. And most importantly, you need to be persistent in taking action towards your goals. Don't let setbacks or failures discourage you. Keep moving forward and never give up. And finally, the fifth P is patience. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will your goals be achieved overnight. It takes time and effort to reach your dreams. So be patient with yourself and trust the process. As long as you stick to your plan and keep taking action, you will eventually get there. Now, creating a plan is not enough. You need to stick to it. And this is where discipline comes in. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. It's what separates the dreamers from the achievers. You need to have discipline in your daily habits and routines. Wake up early, exercise, read, and work on your goals. Don't let distractions or excuses get in the way. Remember, if you want something badly enough, you will find a way. If not, you will find an excuse. And when you feel like giving up, remind yourself of your purpose, your why. Remember why you started and keep pushing forward. And if you ever feel lost or off track, go back to your plan. It will guide you and keep you focused. 
Now to the third way to overcome procrastination and reach your goals. This may seem like a simple concept, but it is one that many struggle with. So, without further ado, let's dive into the topic of stepping out of your comfort zone. We all have a comfort zone, a place where we feel safe and secure. It's where we are familiar with our surroundings, where we know what to expect, and where we feel in control. But here's the thing, my friends. Growth and success do not happen within our comfort zone. They happen when we step out of it. Think about it. When was the last time you achieved something great while staying within your comfort zone? I bet it's hard to come up with an answer. That's because real growth and progress happen when we challenge ourselves, when we take risks, and when we step out of our comfort zone. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Jim, stepping out of my comfort zone is scary. What if I fail? What if I make a fool of myself? Trust me, I understand those fears. But let me ask you this, what's scarier? Taking a chance and potentially failing or living a life of mediocrity, always wondering what if? You see, my friends, the biggest regret of the dying is not the things they did, but the things they didn't do, the risks they didn't take, the opportunities they didn't seize, and the comfort zones they didn't step out of. Don't let that be you. Don't let fear hold you back from reaching your full potential. So how do we step out of our comfort zone? How do we overcome the fear and resistance that holds us back? Well, the first step is to identify what is keeping you in your comfort zone. Is it fear of failure, fear of judgment, or maybe it's just the fear of the unknown? Whatever it may be, acknowledge it and then make a conscious decision to move past it. The second step is to start small. Stepping out of your comfort zone doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It can be as simple as trying a new hobby, taking a different route to work, or striking up a conversation with a stranger. These small steps will help build your confidence and make it easier to take bigger risks in the future. The third step is to surround yourself with people who inspire and challenge you. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want to grow and succeed, you need to surround yourself with people who have similar goals and who will push you to be your best self. The fourth step is to embrace discomfort. Yes, stepping out of your comfort zone is uncomfortable, but that's where growth happens. Embrace the discomfort and remind yourself that it is temporary and necessary for your personal development. The fifth and final step is to have a growth mindset. Instead of seeing challenges and failures as setbacks, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Embrace it, learn from it, and keep moving forward. Now I want to share with you a personal story of how stepping out of my comfort zone changed my life. As many of you know, I started my career as a stock clerk in a small store. I was comfortable in my job, but I knew I wanted more. So I took a risk and applied for a sales position at the same company. I was terrified of rejection, but I pushed through the fear and got the job. From there, I continued to step out of my comfort zone, taking on new challenges and opportunities. And you know what happened? I became one of the top salespeople in the company, and eventually, I left to start my own business. If I had stayed in my comfort zone, I would have never achieved the success and fulfillment that I have today. Now to number two. It is none other than breaking down your goals into smaller tasks. Yes, you heard it right. The key to overcoming procrastination and reaching your goals is to break them down into smaller, manageable tasks. Now you may be wondering, how can something so simple be the solution to such a complex problem? Well, let me explain. We all have big dreams and aspirations, and there is nothing wrong with that. In fact, it is essential to have big goals because they give us direction and motivation in life. However, the problem arises when we try to tackle these big goals all at once. 
we get overwhelmed and we end up procrastinating. We convince ourselves that we will start working on our goals tomorrow, next week, or next month. But the truth is, tomorrow never comes. And before we know it, years have passed and we are still stuck in the same place with the same unfulfilled dreams. But what if I told you that by breaking down your goals into smaller tasks, you can overcome procrastination and start making progress towards your dreams? You see, when we break down our goals, we are essentially creating a roadmap for ourselves. We are dividing our big, overwhelming goals into smaller, achievable tasks that we can work on one at a time. Let me give you an example. Let's say your goal is to start a successful business. Now that is a big goal and it can be intimidating. But if you break it down into smaller tasks, such as researching your target market, creating a business plan, finding a suitable location, and so on, suddenly your goal becomes more manageable. You can focus on one task at a time, and before you know it, you have made significant progress towards your ultimate goal. Breaking down your goals into smaller tasks also helps in overcoming the fear of failure. Many of us procrastinate because we are afraid of failing. We fear that we will not be able to achieve our big goals, and so we put off working on them. But when we break them down into smaller tasks, we are essentially creating mini goals for ourselves. And when we achieve these mini goals, we gain confidence and momentum, which drives us towards our ultimate goal. Another benefit of breaking down your goals is that it helps in time management. We all have busy lives and it can be challenging to find the time to work on our goals. But when we have smaller tasks, it becomes easier to find pockets of time throughout the day to work on them. It could be as simple as spending 30 minutes every day researching your target market or working on your business plan. These small pockets of time may not seem like much, but they add up and help us make progress towards our goals. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, breaking down our goals into smaller tasks sounds great, but how do we know which tasks to focus on? That is an excellent question, and the answer is simple. Prioritize. When you have a big goal, it is essential to prioritize the tasks that will have the most significant impact. Ask yourself, which tasks will bring me closer to my goal? Which tasks are essential and which ones can wait? By prioritizing your tasks, you can focus on the most critical ones and make progress towards your goal. But breaking down your goals into smaller tasks is not enough. You also need to have a plan in place. You see, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So once you have broken down your goals, create a plan of action. Set deadlines for each task and hold yourself accountable. And remember, it is okay to adjust your plan as you go along. Life is unpredictable and things may not always go according to plan. But as long as you have a plan in place, you can make adjustments and keep moving forward. Now, I want to address a common misconception about breaking down goals into smaller tasks. Some people believe that by doing so, they are settling for less. They feel that by breaking down their big goals, they are not aiming high enough. But let me tell you, that is not the case. By breaking down your goals, you are not settling for less. You are setting yourself up for success. You are creating a roadmap that will lead you to your ultimate goal. And that is something to be proud of. Now to number one. See, we have all been guilty of it at some point in our lives. And it is something that can hold us back from achieving our goals and dreams. But I am here to tell you that there is a way to overcome procrastination and reach your goals. And it all starts with setting specific and realistic goals. You see, the problem with procrastination is that it gives us a false sense of comfort. We tell ourselves that we will do it tomorrow or next week or next month. We make excuses and justify our inaction. But the truth is, procrastination is the thief of time and the enemy of success. It robs us of our potential and keeps us from living the life we truly desire. So how do we overcome procrastination? The answer is simple. We must set specific and realistic goals. You see, without a clear and defined goal, 
We are like a ship without a destination. We drift through life going wherever the wind takes us. But when we have a specific goal in mind, we have a direction to follow. We have a purpose and a reason to take action. But it is not enough to just have a goal. It must also be realistic. Many of us set goals that are too lofty and unattainable. We want to lose 50 pounds in a month or make a million dollars in a year. While these goals may seem exciting and inspiring, they are also unrealistic. And when we fail to achieve them, we become discouraged and give up. Instead, we must set realistic goals that are achievable and within our reach. This does not mean that we should not dream big, but we must also be practical. We must break down our big goals into smaller, more manageable ones. This not only makes them more realistic, but it also gives us a sense of progress and accomplishment as we reach each milestone. Now let me give you an example of how setting specific and realistic goals can change your life. Many years ago, I was a broke and struggling young man. I had no direction in life and no idea what I wanted to do. But one day, I attended a seminar where the speaker talked about the power of goal setting. He challenged us to write down our goals and make a plan to achieve them. So I did just that. I wrote down my goals and I made a plan to achieve them. And you know what? It worked. I started with small achievable goals such as saving $100 a month and reading one book a week. And as I achieved these goals, I gained confidence and momentum. I set bigger goals such as starting my own business and becoming a millionaire. And I am proud to say that I achieved those goals too. But it all started with setting specific and realistic goals. And that is why I am so passionate about this topic. I have seen firsthand the power of goal setting and how it can transform your life. And I want the same for each and every one of you. Now you may be wondering, how do I set specific and realistic goals? Well, the first step is to get clear on what you want. Take some time to really think about your dreams and desires. What do you want to achieve in your personal and professional life? What do you want to have, do, and be? Write it all down and don't hold back. Remember, the sky's the limit. Next, break down your big goals into smaller, more manageable ones. For example, if your goal is to lose 50 pounds, start by setting a goal to lose five pounds in the next month. This is a more achievable and realistic goal and it will give you a sense of progress and motivation to keep going. Then make a plan to achieve your goals. This is where the real work comes in. You must take action and be consistent. Create a daily or weekly action plan and stick to it. And when you face obstacles or setbacks, don't give up. Instead, adjust your plan and keep moving forward. Lastly, Hold yourself accountable. Find an accountability partner or join a mastermind group. Share your goals with others and ask them to hold you accountable. This will not only keep you on track, but it will also give you a sense of support and encouragement. In closing, I want to leave you with this quote by Zig Ziglar. If you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. So don't let procrastination hold you back any longer. Set specific and realistic goals and take action towards achieving them. Remember, you have the power to create the life you desire, so go out there and make it happen. Thank you.